It's taken years for Dallas to figure out how to regulate short-term rentals, but our Robbie Owens has just learned that the city council is going to be taking up the issue next week, and all of that comes as North Dallas has now popped up as the latest possible trouble spot for these rentals. It is so easy to think what's the problem if you're not next door. Sonia Hebert of Dallas says she's had enough of the nightmare of party houses on demand. There's an Airbnb two doors down. You can see there's some three bullet holes right there. Over the weekend, she captured video of what she calls an out of control party at the short term rental that put lives at risk. <laughs> That's the sound of multiple shots fired, captured on a neighbor's ring doorbell. I am livid. My children do not need to be traumatized by gunfire 40 steps from their front yard where they play every day. And remember, sound is not all that travels, so do bullets. Their house got hit by a stray bullet, and um, they told me that they were in that room, in that space, moments before it came through. So they are so lucky to have their lives. The weekend party adding to the calls from critics urging the city council to zone short-term rentals out of residential neighborhoods. Imagine this was your home, your child, your neighborhood. Still others who addressed the council during a briefing session argued against an overreach that would punish responsible operators along with the bad. 80% of all short-term rentals have zero, 311, or 911 calls. This is not a crisis of epic proportion. Zoning STRs out of residential areas is not going to create better neighbors or better neighborhoods. We have to, as a community, decide what's more important, safety of all of us, of, of, the, of the general public, or the financial interests of a few. That's all we're asking for, to feel safe where we live. In Dallas, Robbie Owens, CBS News, Texas.